Could you imagine just for one second that the Guardian only costed 800 credits? Well, believe it or not, a quick fun fact for you guys is that the reason why Riot has released so many Guardian skins is because they planned on the Guardian being the main weapon of the game, not the Phantom of the Vandal. So maybe if Riot wants that to happen, you know, people use the Guardian a lot more, maybe they shouldn't make the Guardian 800 credits. I mean, all right, they're probably not gonna do that, but we already have a Guardian lookalike that does cost that low. And it's everybody's favorite 145 headshot damage from long range pistol, the Sheriff. The Sheriff is actually the biggest bang for your buck weapon and I honestly believe it is the most balanced weapon in the game. It rewards people for having great aim, patience, and overall mechanical ability. And if the enemy team slips up and gets too greedy, this 800 credit gun can literally single-handedly win your team the round. So for this week's video, I figured that'd be a good idea to go over a guide so that you too can use this weapon to its fullest potential. I'm an Immortal 3 ranked player and my friends say that I know how to use the Sheriff pretty well. Here's a couple examples. Oh, call for my wallet, eh? Catwalk, right side, right side. One dead. One dead, one dead. Get dead. One more cat. So today we're going over why the Sheriff is literally one of the best weapons in the game. So before we start, I just want to say that the pros by the Sheriff a lot. And for simple reasons. In my opinion, it probably is the gun that requires the most skill and most time to master. But if you do end up mastering this weapon, it is a game changer. And like I said, it's only 800 credits. One shot can literally change the outcome of the entire round and even the game. Think about it. Let's say you lost your pistol round, but on your eco, your jet buys a sheriff. She gets a one tap on a guy who's getting too greedy, and that guy had a specter. Well, your team now has man advantage, and now you have the potential to snowball from there. And then the enemy team starts getting nervous and they're worried about tossing their into ego round. All of this from one sheriff. An 800 credit weapon, almost one fourth the price of a rifle. So let's learn how to use this thing. First things first, you are never, and I absolutely mean never, going to be good with the sheriff if you are not confident in yourself. You've been grinding aim lab, playing a ton of death matches, and now you're in your rank games. If you've done the prep work to hit these one taps, you need to believe that going to land them. If you watch some of the previous guides that I've talked about, mental is one of the most, if not the most important thing in Valorant, just like with any other sport. And you need to have that confidence in yourself before you even think about using the Sheriff. Whenever Steph Curry goes to shoot a three, don't you think that he thinks that he's going to make it? So when you have a Sheriff, you should walk around with that big D energy and tell yourself that you're gonna click on any brief soul that decides to peek you. I believe in you at least. So in the intro, one of the first things I mentioned that if you wanna use the Sheriff effectively is that you need to have patience. You only have eight shots with the Sheriff and you can't really spam it. If you do, your shots are gonna be incredibly inaccurate and at this point, you're relying on RNG to win you the duel. And this is what makes Chamber Sheriff so strong. Skilled players who can manage his recoil and take the time to line up their shots are going to get rewarded. And you know how I mentioned you only get eight shots with the Sheriff? Well, if you think about it, you really don't even get to shoot all eight. You usually only get to shoot like two or three before you're dead. So you need to make them count. If you look at the clip, you seriously need to slow down your shots if you really want to be accurate with your shots. The enemy might have a Vandal, and since you don't, you don't have the luxury of having three or four shots to rip before you have to reset your spray. I mean, you don't get to spray at all. In between shots, you need to focus on lining up your next headshot and not spamming left click. If you remember the clip I had in the beginning of the video where I shot that raise, it wasn't luck. I instead was patient, tried to line up my shot as best as possible, and landed it. This is also why if you're going up against a Sheriff, the worst thing you can do is start crouch spraying. I've talked about this in previous videos, but crouch spraying is extremely bad as it makes you a sitting target. That's why against a Sheriff, all the enemy has to do is readjust their crosshair to your head. So if you know you're going up against a Sheriff, you want to be on the move and strafe in between your shots. So while using the Sheriff is honestly a pretty important thing to learn in Valorant, you're only going to be using it in about 20% of your rounds, if that. I mean, unless you're one of those psychopaths that's trying to hit Radiant by using a Sheriff only, which I've seen before and who've thrown my games before, uh, you're going to want to learn how to use every weapon in the game, not just this pistol. We at Skillcap have guides going over every weapon, from pistols to vandals to the operator. We also have online courses covering a variety of topics, from game sense to mechanics to utility usage and everything in between. And these courses are all created by Radiant level players, top 500 in the nation. So if you want solid advice from some of the best that Valorant has to offer, I highly suggest you check out the website. Or maybe if you want a chance at having your VOD reviewed by one of us, come check us out. We also have a rank improvement guarantee so that if you don't see your rank improving, you'll get your money back. But there's literally so much value here, I find it hard that you want to improve. 
If you're looking for the fastest way to climb in Valorant, be sure to check out skillcap.com, link in the description below. So we just talked about how you wanna be patient in between your sheriff shots. So what would you be doing in between your shots? Well, you should be moving. And no, not running a gunning, but you should be repositioning and counter strafing. By doing so, this obviously makes you a much harder target to hit and it buys you time to readjust your crosshair. If you don't do this, you're just allowing your opponent to adjust their crosshair and destroy you, you know, since you only have a sheriff. We have tons of other guides on counter strafing, but in order to do so, you want to use your movement keys, A and D to move back and forth, and use the opposite key to cancel out the movement to make your next shot 100% accurate. You don't really even need to press the opposite key, actually, uh, you can just let go and shoot, and your next shot is going to be really accurate. There's like a one tenth of a millisecond difference between the two. But you can start practicing this in the range, then your death matches, and then finally in your rank games. And yes, you're probably going to get rolled in death matches since you're only using a sheriff, but keep in mind, it's just practice. Block out that scoreboard and just focus on what you need to work on. And while you're in those death matches, another thing you want to focus on is crosshair placement. Now I know you're rolling your eyes, and yes, this concept is forced on the throats of anyone that plays Valorant, but it's so, 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 so important if you're trying to use the Sheriff. You only have eight shots, like I said before, and you probably won't even be able to use them all if your mechanics aren't that crispy. In a case you live under a rock, or a newborn baby, or a kill J main that only swings off your turret, crosshair placement is making sure your crosshair is lined up in a place where the enemy could potentially be. This allows you to not have to readjust your crosshair, and all you end up having to do is click. If you want to get better at this, you again want to have it be your main focus in your death matches. And even in your games, if you're using a sheriff, odds are you don't have much utility and you aren't favored to win the round, so you should focus on your crosshair placement in the middle of your game to ensure that you land the shot. Usually I don't recommend this, but since all you have is your sheriff on your ecos, go out there and click some heads. Now a quick tip, whenever you see someone's sheriff clips, they're usually only headshots, right? Like, don't get me wrong, nothing feels better than headshotting someone with a sheriff, but if you body shot somebody, that's pretty decent too. Keep in mind, the sheriff hits like a truck with 55 body shot damage, and if you manage to land a body shot, you should be okay with landing another. This puts the enemy close to 1 HP, and your teammate can usually finish them off. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you can't land a headshot for some reason, aim for the body, and have faith in your teammates to be able to finish them off for you. And speaking of body shots, this is what makes the sheriff so good in pistol round. With the recent nerf to the classic, I've seen a lot more people starting buying the frenzy and the ghost a ton more, making the sheriff that much more valuable. With that in mind, you can two-tap anybody from any range, with just body shots. This is especially good on certain agents like Jet and Reyna, who can either let a few shots off or even get a kill before dismissing away. I mean, this fact is also what makes Chamber really good. Uh, he can buy four shots with his sheriff and still buy light armor. And yeah, four shots isn't a lot. But if you have everything I talked about before mastered, you should be able to get one or maybe even two kills. And what I hate seeing is when an agent like Sova or Astra is buying a sheriff on pistol round. And yes, I've seen it before. Like, your abilities are literally broken. Buy a drone, some stars, buy a flash if you're on Phoenix. Like, what are you doing? Like, for example, Sova's drone on pistol round is busted, as it takes a lot to shoot it down. And this goes for Sage as well, too. So while using a sheriff on pistol round might be super fun and feel cool, seriously consider what you could be buying instead before investing those 800 credits. Now lastly, one of the most important things to keep in mind when using a Sheriff is knowing the range at which your opponents are going to be. For example, if you're on a save round, you don't want to be peaking angles such as market to vents on split. The Sheriff only does 145 at long ranges, and if you only dink the enemy, you're going to give them more time to kill you. What you should be doing instead is holding like an off angle like this so that you're much closer to the enemy and you'll one tap anyone at this range. But if you're on a pistol round, this doesn't matter as the most HP someone can have is 125, meaning that you want to be taking these long range duels as it's much harder to win them with the classic or a frenzy. What I'm saying is, is that if you want to use the sheriff correctly, you really need to think about the range and the type of fight you want to take before buying the gun. If you do want to take a long range fight on an eco, maybe you might be better suited with a marshal instead. All the concepts I mentioned in this video apply, and it's only like, what, 150 credits more? Go for it. And the body shot damage of that gun is 100 a shot. Like, that's kind of insane. So if you want to be nuts with not just the Sheriff, but with any other weapon as well, check out our other guides and we can help run out your gameplay, rank up faster, and maybe even one day when you click heads enough, you could join that top 1% of Valorant. Also, like I said, if you want a chance to having your VOD reviewed, be sure to subscribe on our website at skillcap.com. We also have tons of Radiant Smurf commentaries where we have Radiant level players walk you through exactly how to have the most impact possible on every map, round, situation, anything you could possibly see. As I mentioned before, it's also backed by a rank improvement guarantee, and the reason to do that is because we were just that confident that our service works. And if it doesn't work, then you shouldn't pay. So what are you waiting for? You got nothing to lose. Head on over to skillcap.com and get started on your way to that rank that you deserve. So yeah, hopefully you guys have a little bit better understanding on how you can be a better sheriff player. The sheriff can be really hard to use at first, but after a bit of practice, anyone can hit these crispy headshots. 
The sheriff is like threading a needle. You need patience, discipline, confidence, and just big D energy to pull it off consistently. Also, there's a ton of streamers that are great at using it, and I mean pros. I recommend checking out LG Proto. He's a nasty sheriff player, and you can learn a ton from his gameplay. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. It really does help us out. And that's all for us. I'm Teets, and we here at Skullcap want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.